With all systems go, the Block 20 Global Hawk soared to the skies for the first time Thursday morning, March 1st, 2007. The unmanned aerial system flew from north of Grumman's Palmdale, California facility to the Burke Flight Test Center at Edwards Air Force Base, California. Designated AF-8, the Advanced Capability Aircraft was airborne for more than 90 minutes and climbed to 32,000 feet before landing to a crowd of cheering Air Force officials and Northrop Grumman employees. What we've shown here is that we can develop and build and fly uh, the next generation of Global Hawk, which really sets up where we're going with this whole program. So everything about the future of Global Hawk is really represented in this flight because this is the beginning of, uh, of the next three major upgrades to this platform. With a 130-foot wingspan, a redesigned and strengthened fuselage, and a 3,000-pound internal payload capacity, the next generation Block 20 will provide enhanced intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities to the warfighter. Global Hawk flies at altitudes up to 60,000 feet and can survey vast geographic regions with pinpoint accuracy. Global Hawks are operating in theater today and have logged more than 9,000 combat hours with 95% mission effectiveness. The Global Hawk represents a huge tool in its ISR fleet to provide intelligence data to the people on the ground, the, the Air Force uh, pilots who are doing bombing missions in the uh, current flight on uh, terror in the world. We have AF-8, AF-9, 10, 11, uh, 12, and 13, so there are six Block 20 air vehicles. Down in Moss Point, we started jig-loading the, uh, the Block 40 air vehicle, so very significant time in the program's history. Following a final series of operational testing and evaluation, the Block 20 will be delivered to the Air Force's 9th Reconnaissance Wing at Beale Air Force Base 